One of the key technologies we'll be using in this course is Node.js or Node. Now Node is a great technology. It's what makes many of the techniques we'll be looking at even possible. However, since the beginning lessons in this course focus primarily on Windows developers, there's one small snag you need to know about if you're on the Windows platform and using Node.js. That snag is with the Node Package Manager or NPM. Let's jump over to the Windows VM, do a quick installation of Node, and I'll show you that small snag I was talking about. Let's drop out to the command prompt and Node version. As you can see, Node's not even a recognized command, so we know it's not installed. Now the actual install of Node is a piece of cake. Simply grab the installer from the Node.js website, execute it, and accept the defaults. So let's do just that www.nodejs.org. As you can see, the most current version of Node is 0.12.6. We'll go ahead and click Install. We'll download the install utility. And we'll execute it. Accept the terms leave the default path, leave the default features, and let it install. Click Finish. And at this point, Node.js is installed in this machine. Now to verify it's installed, we'll drop back out to the command prompt. We'll execute the same version command. And as you can see, Node is installed. Now it's the NPM or Node Package Manager that we want to draw attention to. So let's go ahead and call upon it with the version command as well. As you can see, we're currently installed with version 2.11.2. .2. We're not totally sure that that's the most current version, so let's go ahead and use NPM to install it as a global module to ensure we have the most current version. Just as we suspected, the version of NPM that came with Node is not the most current version. The installer actually installed version 2.12.1. Now I'm going to show you the small snag I referred to. We're going to execute NPM with the same version command. And as you can see, the version has not been updated. We expected to see 2.12.1 installed as the running version, but instead we have the same version that shipped with Node. What this means is that even though we installed the most recent version of NPM, it's not being used. Let me show you what's going on. I'm going to start by opening up two Explorer windows. Move this one to the right and this one to the left. We'll go into Program Files in one. And in this other one, let's move over to App Data. Now what this is basically showing is that we have two separate versions of NPM. On the left we have the one that installed with Node. On the right we have the one that we installed. Now let's figure out which one is being used by looking at the actual path of the system. Now if we look at the actual path, we can see here that C program files Node.js has been added to the system path. This means that when we execute a command, Windows is going to look for it, and in the case of NPM, it's going to find it in this location. Now there's also a second path. That's the user path. This is the one shown on the right. If Windows cannot find the command located in the system path, it's going to start looking through the user path. So for us, what this means is that our version of NPM is never going to be used. Since Windows will first look in the system path, it's going to find a copy of NPM, and it's going to use it. It's never going to take the time to look in the additional path. So how do we get around this? Well, there's a few options. Unfortunately, none of them are really great. Our first option is to delete NPM from the Node.js path. That will leave the only version of NPM installed as the one that we installed. Now that'll work right up until the time that we install the new version of Node.js. Since Node brings with it a new version of NPM, it's going to reuse this path and overwrite all the files that are here. This also means it's going to bring with it another version of NPM. Now hopefully that version will be more up to date than the current one, but we just installed a new version of Node 
and the version of NPM that came with it is outdated. So there's a good chance that the next time we do an update of Node.js, we're going to get an outdated version of NPM. Now the second option might be a bit unexpected. What we could do is take the fully qualified path to the version of NPM on the right of the screen and insert it into the system path variable before the path to Node.js. What this will do is ensure that when Windows goes looking for that command, it will find the version of NPM that we want before it ever consults the Node.js directory. That's the route I like to take. It allows me to specify the exact location I want to use without me having to worry about what the installer is going to do tomorrow. Now there is actually a third option. I haven't tested the third option, but I know it exists. I'm not sure who created it. It might be Microsoft. I'm not sure who it is. But somebody created a script to go in and resolve all of this. It copies around some files. It changes some settings. Again, I've seen it. I haven't used it. I'm not even sure if that third change fixes it permanently or temporarily. So again, to recap, we can blow away the version on the left, and that'll ensure that Windows only finds the version on the right. We can take the path from the right and insert it into the path variable, or we can go and work with that third option, that script that sits out there on the internet. Again, none of them are great solutions, but they work. Now, since I want an option that I really don't have to worry about being overwritten, I'm going to go ahead and use that second option. I'm going to take this path and insert it before the Node.js directory. Simply go to the path and explore, right click, copy, edit the path, find the beginning of the Node.js portion, paste in this path, add a semicolon, and we're done. Now when we drop out to the command prompt and do an NPM version, we're going to get the latest version. At this point, I can run the Node.js installer as many times as I want. It's not going to overwrite my setting, and I don't have to care about the version that actually ships with Node. Also, since I'm pointing to the location that NPM specifically installs NPM into, as long as they don't change the path they're using, I can update this as many times as I want, and I can be sure that I will always have the most current version of NPM. That's really about it. We have the most current versions of both Node and NPM installed, and if we ever have to upgrade NPM or Node, we know that we're going to be using the most current version of both. The Node installer won't overwrite our change, and since NPM should always be installed in the location that we've added, we can rest knowing that we're always going to have the most current versions.